Let's begin. Spice and Wolf is based on a TV series, which unfortunately I have not seen, so this review will be focusing on whether or not it's a title that you can get into without any knowledge of the show. The game is played with a DualShock controller and it can experience in a non-VR mode too. It's mainly a story driven experience though, so you won't really be using the DualShock controller that much anyway, apart from when you first start the game or are in the interactive mode, which we will look into later. The experience doesn't have any English voiceovers, so you will have to read the English subtitles. <laughs> You can either choose to have them float towards where you are looking at, which is a bit awkward when you're trying to read them, or you can have them in a fixed position, which is the far better option. You can also hold the R2 button down to reposition them. The default setting places them nearly dead centre of your view, so you will likely want to move them down a bit. The experience takes place entirely in an abandoned water mill, in some woods. It's raining outside, so Craft Lawrence, who is a travelling merchant, and Holo, who can transform into a wolf, seek shelter inside the mill. The game really expects you to know these characters, as there isn't any real introductions, although at the start, you are informed that you're taking for role of craft, as he sits right on top of you. Holo is the main star of the show. She looks straight at you and has no repeated animations throughout. Every bit of her dialogue has custom animations, which makes her quite a believable character in this world. Well, as believable as a cartoon wolf can be. The characters show different emotions quite a bit, the dialogue certainly has its ups and downs, and it changes between the two moods quite a bit. This does make for a slightly engaging viewing, although the topics explored here are not really too intense or that thrilling. It really is focusing on these two characters' normal chit chat rather than any major offence, which does make it an experience that you will benefit greatly from having watched the TV series. This really is just some normal chatter between two friends, apart from a couple of times where Hollow's imagination plays out in front of you. Ghostly visions are seen, and one time actually changes up the look of the mill, which is a much needed change. The use of depth is played with a couple of times too, as she will come up very close to you, and now and then, will smack you with her tail. These are some fun little moments, but they do have their downside, as your subtitles will likely be unreadable, due to them passing through her body. The graphics really are amazing though, the texture quality is superb, and the shadows that are cast from a fire are some of the best I've seen in recent memory. Officially, the experience gets everything right. There is three chapters to sit through, which in total only last for 27 minutes. After you have finished the story, a new interactive mode unlocks. Unfortunately though, this doesn't add much to the already short game at all. Here you can pet Hollow, and she will react accordingly. You can also look at different objects throughout the room, and she will interact with them. You know how many interactions you have left to do, thanks to a checklist next to you. It doesn't take too long at all to do everything though, as it took me about 6 minutes so the whole game only lasts for around 33 minutes. I can't show the game's trophies because they haven't appeared online yet, but they are actually in the game. There is really only one trophy here that could up the game time a little bit, and that's for finding all of the 5 coins. The rest will unlock naturally during the chapters, and the others are tied for interacting with things in the interactive mode. Unfortunately, the game doesn't come with a platinum. As you guys know by now, I really appreciate the work that goes into characters' animations, and the work done here is of very high quality. It's just a real shame that you can't appreciate it a lot more due to there being no English voiceovers. You really do need to nearly always fix your gaze on the subtitles, due to the quick succession of dialogue. Considering the price of the game, it is such a shame that there wasn't any English voiceovers included, but to be honest, even if they was included, it would still be an extremely overpriced experience. I can imagine even massive fans of the show finding this price hard to justify. Overall, this is a visually high quality experience, which is definitely aimed towards fans of the show. It's basically an expensive meet and greet in a virtual space.
Did I enjoy my time with this? Well, I think I enjoy analysing animations a lot, which kept me busy. Well, when I could actually focus on them. But I think for a non-fan of the show, the dialogue here just won't keep you very amused. If you found this review helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more PSVR content.